While moving on, President William Ruto's grip on power and quest to push through his policies is facing an ultimate test as thousands of Kenyans took to the streets to protest against the Finance Bill 2024. It is a protest that took place in almost all towns and major urban centers across the country as defiant protesters intensified their pushback against new tax proposals. While the protests were largely peaceful in some parts of the country, some protesters sustained injuries as police moved to disperse crowds. Bushebi Jr. covered that story. Let's check it out. The second day of protests against Finance Bill 2024 saw a determined, peaceful and organized Gen Z protesters storm cities and towns in Kenya to demand a total rejection of the Ruto-led high taxation bill. <laughs> From Nairobi to Garissa, Sika to Bungoma, Nyeri to Eldoret, Kisumu to far ends of the nation, the chance of Ruto must go and reject Finance Bill 2024 filled the air. <laughs> and new generation of young Kenyan protesters emerged on the streets, forcing the government to back down on some of a slew of unpopular tax proposals. What started as anger on TikTok about a controversial finance bill morphed into a revolt without being organized by political parties. On Thursday, Thousands of trainer-wearing protesters who feel Kenyans are already overtaxed with little to show for it braved the tear gas lobbed by police to march through the capital Nairobi and the whole country bringing the cities and the nations and the towns and central business districts to a standstill. <laughs> With their smartphones, they live streamed the intense confrontations with officers. The protests dubbed Occupy Parliament were coordinated and mobilized on social media in contrast to those led and sponsored by politicians. Organizers encouraged fellow protesters to wear black clothes, but some still turned up in ripped jeans and stylish hairdos. The youthful demonstrators, popularly referred to as Gen Zs, in reference to the term generally used to describe those born during the late 1990s and early 2000s, showed up in huge numbers, vowing to ensure that their discontent did not end with just a hashtag or a meme. Protesters surrounded and blocked police officers and police vehicles, forcing the men in uniform to retreat in Nairobi CBD during the anti-finance bill 2024 demos. Even as Nairobi was being brought down to a standstill, 
President William Ruto departed to Garissa for Garissa University fifth graduation ceremony only to encounter the Gen Z over there who told him the message is the same. Hashtag reject finance bill 2024. Reject finance bill, reject, reject, hey. reject, 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 reject. President William Ruto, while speaking in Garissa, maintained that the MPs should pass the finance bill to secure jobs for intern teachers, fund help and school feeding program. Make sure that these young people can find employment in different countries in the world so that we can make Kenya a true country. We can grow our economy and we can give a chance to all our young people. Mutaniombea? Nisukume? Nisukume? Ama munasema nifanya na magani? However, the president's words comes at a time youths popularly known as Gen Z have refused to back down on their calls to reject the bill. Police in Nairobi arrested peaceful protesters whom some could be heard singing national anthem inside the police truck. Police also threw a tear gas inside a super metro vehicle full of passengers at the CBD. Hey! 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 At some point, police officers were called to order by journalists and the public after one of them began beating peaceful and unarmed public members for no reason. In Nakuru, the script was similar to Nairobi as Kenyans sang anti Ruto songs, Zakayo Ametuzoea, as they protested the finance bill 2024. In Eldoret, Protesters brought down UDA branded Wilbarrow Monument in Eldoret Town. And in every other town, the script was the same. The problem we have today is because we elected small boys and little girls in parliament. This man, we don't want the bill amended, we want it rejected. Yes. Yes. I'm rejecting the bill. Yes. And any MP coming from my region, coming from Virginia Stronghold, we will deal with you. What we want to say today is that the bill before the house on the hill it's both a charade, it is a sham and a, a sleep board. We are not going to allow that. We know that the bill is having 3.9 trillion. And what is going to be directed from the director is a total of 3.354 trillion. Widespread reject finance bill 2024 protests spread to as far as Kericho County, Sika, Nyeri, Kericho, Mombasa, 
Bungoma, Eldorit, and other parts of the nation. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Ambushabi Junior. Tumeweka 40 billion shillings ya kuunganisha mtandao ama internet in every ward in Kenya.